belong to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Father. Father, wherever I fall short of your glory, I pray for your mercy in the name of Jesus. Father, I say thank you for bringing me on tonight. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for being so faithful to me, Father. I ask that you take over this line. Take over me. Be less of me, more of you, Father, in the name of Jesus. I call myself the blood of Jesus. I call this video the blood of Jesus. Father, as you have led me to come on Facebook, I pray that this video might be on Facebook serve its purpose in the name of Jesus. I pray that someone be blessed who ever come across this video, watch this video, now or later, be blessed in the name of Jesus. Father, I say let your presence take over this video in the name of Jesus. That the presence of the Holy Ghost, the presence of God take over this video in the name of Jesus. Father, take over right now in the name of Jesus. Have your way tonight. Have your way, have your way, have your way, Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Carabas sonte leke tu arabe tu goraba santa. Rebe tu araba santi yakarabe do rabasia. Mele brant yakarabasi yakarabatan. Rabas santi ke de viruti yakarabas sonte ke de besia. Reke di a de di arabasi yakarabaduntia. Maranti yakarabas sonte ke de virugo tu gorobo suntia. Rebe di arabas sonte ke di arabe tu Santa, Regedi, a Rebezuka, the keeper of Tom Tiga Lava Santa, Mele Brantali, a Rebesu, a di Arabadantalia, Regedi, a Rebasu, the Carabasi, a Catalabas Santa, Regedu, a Rebasanta, Carabato, Regedi, a Rebesenta, Mele Brantali, a Rebetu, or so take a Lia Catalabas Santa, Shabrantali, a Rebasu, a Lia Catabas soon take a Besente. Let's pray right now in. In the name of Jesus, they begin to pray, they begin to worship God, they begin to speak to God. In the name of Jesus, shake it, do a dabari, a rebezu, a rebezu, Lebrantali Arabesuka di Kidabarugotolobo Sunte Kedebe Santa Regedi Arabasuko Rabati Akarabasuka di Kidabarugotan Arabas Santa Rakantali Elebrantali Arabesu Arabasantia Kedeberunti Kedebezu Akatarabazuka di Arabentalia Rebezu Akatalabazu Dekedi Eleberentali Arabasunta for I worship you, Lord. I give you all the praise. I give you all honor. Up I hold you to you. Thank you, Jesus. I lift you in honor, your Father. None like you. None can ever be compared unto your holy name. Jabaraba Tuntia. Rebeti Araba Sante Kedebedu Korobo Sunta. Rebeti Adantoli Elebeziga Di Elebergete. Maram Brantali Elebezu Ali Akatarabata. Rebetu Kodobo Sunta Kala Araba Rantali Elebezunta. Mele Brantali Araba Rebetu adi adebelo karia katalaba sunte sheke du alaberon telebe zente kalaberon tali arabete rebetu adeberon ti akaraba santa arabato adi akatalaba sunte ke debe don tali ele santi arabada melebran tali arabezu adi akaraba santa melezu a 
Adi Adeberen Tali Ele Rokoto Robo Suntake de Bede Maram Branta Kadi Akadaba Zu Adi Arebede Kadi Abalan Tali Ele Beronsia Jeke Doko Rabaton Tali Ele Branta Li Abarakaton Teke Lebe Zunta Ikam Branta Karaba Zu Adi Edeberen Talia Mele Zuakadi Ele Beron Tolobo Sunta Karabatia Mele Branta Li Ele Bezugadi Kitabaron Tolobo Zu Adi Arebedon Talia Reke Deka Debron Telebe Zua Karabadan Telebata Karabaram Paria Karabar Santa Reke di Rebe Deka di Arabe Zua Diki Deberen Telia I Cambran Tali Arabe Zua Diki Paracata Karabai Santa begin to pray, begin to worship God, begin to thank God for His goodness, for His grace and mercy upon our life in the name of Jesus. God didn't fail us, He allowed to see a brand new night, He wake up of yesterday. Allow you to see yesterday and tonight. You are alive. Nothing bad is happening to you. You are not in the hospital. Begin to appreciate God. Begin to tell Him thank you of the goodness over your life. His grace upon your life. You could have been there. You could have been worse. You got been in the hospital. Or worse could have happened to you. But you have life. Life that money cannot buy. Begin to worship God whoever you are, wherever you are. Get on your knees, say a prayer to him, begin to speak to him, speak to God. Tell God, thank you for the gift of life. Appreciate him for everything, whether good or bad. The Bible says, in all things, we should give thanks to God. In all circumstances, be thankful. Give thanks to God in the name of Jesus. Katalabasu di arrebedenti yakada brunto di edebezente. Mele brantali arrebedu korobo zonta karabada. Meleke di arrebasi yakada rabasun teke de beruntia. God is too faithful to fear us. He is too good to disappoint us. He is too faithful. He is too righteous. To him be all the glory. They begin to appreciate God. Thank God for how far he has brought you, for his goodness upon your life. Without him, we couldn't be where we are today. Let me to appreciate God. Let me to thank God. I am so grateful for his mighty hands upon my life. I'm so thankful. God being so good to me. I love God with everything inside of me. In the name of Jesus, begin to appreciate him. Begin to thank him. For his goodness upon your life in Jesus' name. Li Adi Abantoli Rebeden. Melege Zu Arabatalabazu Ariki Broko Tokorobo Sunta. I'll be ungrateful if I doesn't tell of the goodness of God upon my life. If I doesn't tell anyone about God, I'll be ungrateful. If I doesn't tell anyone about Jesus, I'll be ungrateful. I'm only here to be a blessing to somebody. The person I'll take it to be a blessing. I'll be a blessing to you. In the name of Jesus, begin to worship God, begin to thank God. You need to be grateful. You need to be more grateful because of what we're in now. So many evil things are going on. So many evil things are happening, but God is with us. He protecting us day and night, not only us, our family, our children. God is protecting everyone around us and everything that we have. They begin to appreciate him. They begin to give him back the glory in the name of Jesus. God like a thankful heart. He love a thankful heart, a grateful heart. In the name of Jesus. Karlabazu Rebedent Yakaraba Santa. Rebedu Arabasika Diki de Bedu Korobotu Korea Katalaba Santi Gedebedentia. Marenti Karabasuka Diki Brokoto Korobo Sunta Kadabasia. Rebesia Kataraba Santa. Rebedu Adaba Santa Karabazu Adekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekadekad
because of that i'm grateful for his goodness in the name of jesus i don't know what you are grateful for but i know god did something for you today and i know god being good to you so begin to appreciate him begin to thank him because of his grace and his goodness upon your life in the name of jesus Father, I plead the blood over this video. I plead your blood right now in the name of Jesus. I plead your blood. I call everyone with the blood of Jesus. I call myself with the blood of Jesus. I turn the video into fire. Father, may the video serve a purpose in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God has been so good to me. God has used many to be a blessing to me. To be a blessing to me. And I have made myself available for God to use me to be a blessing to others in the name of Jesus. I was led to come online to be a blessing to someone today. To give a word of encouragement or to worship along with the person. Or the person can worship along with me. Hear the word of God in the name of Jesus. Give God that problem wherever it lives. We are in the presence of God, let us be able to give God everything in the name of Jesus. Forget about that problem, forget about that situation, but forget about that stuff for a few minutes and give your all to God and worship God and serve God in the mighty name of Jesus and be appreciative in the name of Jesus. Ali e devi du ala balanta li e le zua kutumba li e debe du aria katambali ya me le zuga li gida baranta li e le zuga di diga li abranta galaba zua li abranta galaba santa father let your presence take over in the name of jesus i welcome you precious holy spirit i say take over this video take over right now in the mighty name of jesus father who so who ever watch you right and let them begin to feel your presence in the mighty name of jesus father you say in your presence there is fullness of joy let joy be going to take over everyone who are is watching now that will come and watch later father let your presence take over them let your joy fill the hearts in the name of jesus Santa, precious Holy Spirit, I say, take over, manifest yourself in the name of Jesus. Less of me, more of you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, you know your children better than I do in the name of Jesus. I say, visit each and every one of them at this hour in the name of Jesus. Father, you know that sister that is crying 
Kenya as that you reach out to her and come for her in the name of Jesus. You know that brother that is crying as that you reach out to him and come for him, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. That sister that is crying for the fruit of the womb, Father, as that you reach out to her. Bless her. Answer her prayer in the name of Jesus. I can't tell you, Reverend. Let's go to the ground. Tell you about the calabazua, Reverend. That brother, that sister, that is looking for job. Father, as you reach out to them, you answer that prayer. Give them that job that they want in the mighty name of Jesus. Kazika da ba don take a lebesia. That sister, that brother, that is finding difficulty in passing that exam. Father, as I get them wisdom and knowledge to pass that exam in the mighty name of Jesus. Kaziba da ba don take it. They don't tell you. I can't tell you. Lezua Rabadanta Laba Santa Rebedi Elebedu and Talaba Santa to that person that fresh is empty. Father, as you visit and put food in a fresh in the name of Jesus. Jokalia Rebedun Tiki de Bezunta, you alone, O Lord, are mighty. Father, you do what you alone know how to do best in the name of Jesus. Perform miracle, perform signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. Father, provide for your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Karabazua Rebedekati Araba Santa. Get that sister that job. Give that sister that healing in the name of Jesus. Give her the fruits of the womb in the name of Jesus. Heal that brother for a prostate cancer in the name of Jesus. Heal that person for prostate for cancer in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your healing power take over right now in the name of Jesus. I release the healing, of, the healing power of God over this view. I release it right now in the name of Jesus. Whoever that is seeking healing, I say receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Kadeka da baraba tuntegeli asantalia. Mele brantali erebezua da karambaria. Mele zuga diki da barugo tokorobo sunta. Receive that healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive that job in the name of Jesus. Shogarabati arebedeka tika da basanta. Mele branta kalaba santa. Receive the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus. Rebedu korobo sunta. Every spirit tormenting you. I command our spirit to cast fire in the name of Jesus and I command you free in the name of Jesus korobo tonti ke lebe zua karabadan melebran talabazua dia kabarakata father for your glory you do what you alone know how to do best in the name of Jesus korobo zua labran tali elebe zente rebe tika labazua dike brokoto you brought me on your father to be a blessing of someone may you touch that person may someone be blessed today in the name of Jesus kazibe ronti gadaba santa Meleke broko toko la basanta. The next time you go, you will pass that exam. You won't fail in the name of Jesus. Malabranta karaba santa. That person is going through marriage difficulty, marital problems. I ask for everything in our marriage that need to be fixed. Be fixed in the name of Jesus. May God fix everything that need to be fixed in your marriage in the name of Jesus. Kadi rebe zua rebe donti ke rebe te rebe du rebe zika leke broko toko la basanta. He come brand. Tali e rebe zua diki broko toko robo santa malam brain take li a karam paregeti elesi a karaba santa kadebe ronti ke lebe zuka de kaprakati ke lebe santa whosoever going through or evil manipulation witchcraft manipulation I command you to be free in the name of Jesus be free from that manipulation in the mighty name of Jesus rebe di a dem brain tali e le zuka di kaprakata be free in the name of Jesus every confusion in your mind I command it to live in the name of Jesus and I command your mind to be restored to be normal in the mighty name of Jesus every confusion in your mind I command it to come out in the name of Jesus I command your mind your thought to be restored to be normal in the name of Jesus I rebuke every spirit of confusion in your mind in the name of Jesus you won't be confused you won't be confused you won't be confused I refuse it and I reject it all your life. Every wish can manipulation all your thoughts, all your mind. I reject it for you. I rebuke it and I send it back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus. 
whosoever that is sad in the cage. I say, I call you from out of that cage in the name of Jesus. I command you to come out of that cage. Come out of that pit. Come out in the name of Jesus. Korobo sin, I'm saying it. It is happening. It is done in the name of Jesus. Korobo zun takaraba santia. I call our sister out of that cage. I call our brother out of that cage in the name of Jesus. I command you to be restored in the name of Jesus. Anyone watching me in your destiny have been robbed and stolen. I command your destiny to be restored in the name of Jesus. And I put fire and write your destiny in the name of Jesus. And whoever watched me, the devil has stolen from. I really see angel that is out to bring back everything that has been stolen from you in the name of Jesus. Angels begin to go to work right now. Go and restore everyone in the mighty name of Jesus. Restore that brother, restore that sister in the name of Jesus. Go and put people from other cases, pull them from other cases in the name of Jesus. Pull them from other pit. Angels go to work at this hour in the mighty name of Jesus. For the whosoever watching, who will watch the Lord, I pray for testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your children testify, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone experiencing time and difficulty, I command you free in the name of Jesus. I command you free in the name of Jesus. I declare you free in the name of Jesus. You won't remain when the devil puts you in the name of Jesus. You won't remain in that pit. You will not remain in that cage. In the name of Jesus, I call you out and I call you forth in the name of Jesus. I call you from all of that pit, all of that cage. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out, you that sister, you that brother. Come out in the name of Jesus. Robot on Tika Laba Santa, Calibran Talia, Rebedi, Alazuga Liga Bracata, Rebetica Daba Santa, Kedebedoka Tika Daba Santa. Any form of way you have been robbed, I command you to be restored in the mighty name of Jesus. Any form of way the devil has robbed your life, robbed you of your life, your destiny, your future, your children, your marriage, I command you to be restored. I say, angels, right now to go and work on you, to restore you in the mighty name of Jesus, to bring back everything the enemy has stolen from you in the name of Jesus. Pray along with me. If somebody pray, begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Begin to ask God to give you that, that request that you have in mind. Begin to pray to God in the mighty name of Jesus. You, that sister or brother, that dream, baby, your dreams, the devil have messed up your dreams. I command your dream line to be restored in the name of Jesus. You, that brother or sister, whoever that is watching me, the devil has shut down your eyes. You cannot see spiritually, you cannot hear spiritually. I command your eyes and your ears to open right now in the name of Jesus. I command your ears and your eyes to open. Begin to see clearly and begin to hear God in the name of Jesus. Pray along with me as you watch and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. We are praying tonight in the name of Jesus. The Bible says my children daily receive because they did not ask. Begin to ask God, begin to put in your request on us. I pray you pray along with me in the mighty name of Jesus. He can run Takalia Santa. You are you are brother or sister. Whoever that is watching me, the devil have put a heavy bundle over you, or heavy load for you to carry. I say, angel, to remove that load from your shoulder in the name of Jesus. I release angel right now to visit you. Take away that heavy burden. Take away that heavy load. Angels go and release that sister, that brother, that person that is carrying that carrying that heavy burden in the name of Jesus. Be free. In the name of Jesus, be free. In the name of Jesus, be free. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, 
in the name of Jesus. You that brother or sister that is washing and is sitting in a wheelchair, I command you to be restored. I command you to wake up from that chair in the name of Jesus. You that brother or sister, whoever that is washing and is on a hospital bed, I command you to wake up, be healed in the name of Jesus. I release healing angels for to go and heal you, whoever you are. Be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be restored in the name of Jesus. I command your health to be restored in the name of Jesus. Kalab Rantalia, Ikan Sugaliga Branta, Kalebezunte, Karebedi, Lezu, Alab Rantalia, Meleke du, Lebedunta, Karabazan, Rebedeka di, Alab Ranta, Kalabazanta, Rebezi, Alabezuka di, Kalabaranta, Lakazunte, Mele Brantali, Lekali, Abanta, Kalabazanta, Ikan Branta, Kalabazu, Eleke Borokoto, Rebezi, Kadabazanta, whoever have you for difficulty I command your financial doors to open from it will now serve in the name of Jesus and whosoever that is suffering from favor receive favor receive the grace of favor in the name of Jesus and whoever you are that is watching me people don't like you no matter what you do wherever you go people just hate you for no reason I command our spirit to leave you now in the name of Jesus. I command our spirit to leave you now in the name of Jesus. I command you to be restored from now on. You will be like it, but wherever you go, people will just love you and you will be favored in the name of Jesus. Rebede, Melez, Azun Adi, Akambali, Rebeden, Togali, Rebede, Gali, Rebedu, Rebede, Rebedun, Tegelede, Sukali, Brokotokoro, Bosunta. Father, let your ring of fire begin to ring upon your children. Let them be restored in the name of Jesus, let everything that is done of you holding them bound, holding them down, let it begin to leave as your ring of fire is falling on them. Let them be free in the name of Jesus. Kosi Allah branta kala bazanta kariya katonti glesia rebedu lekazu Allah branta liya rebedi Allah bazunta karabata rebesunte kelebedu rebesente kelebesunta. Father, I pray unto you this hour. You say you brought me on here to be a blessing, and you are the Father, Father God. I care about your children. You, you say you came for the lost sheep, for your lost sheep in the name of Jesus. For that eyes, oh Lord, that you bring your lost sheep from east where not serve. Bring them to unto the video and be blessed and then, then they receive their salvation today in the name of Jesus. Bring people from east where not serve unto the broadcast to the video so they can be blessed in the name of Jesus. Bring men, bring women from east where not serve. Father God, people that need this, they are going to be blessed by what I'm doing. Father, I say bring them from east where not serve of the earth from Israel and us of Father bring them so they can be blessed bring your lost sheep in the name of Jesus so they can be restored so they can be blessed in the name of Jesus Malaka do Rebede Meleki zu adaberonte karabazi karabaran. Are you praying or you just watching? Begin to pray. Kaza karabaton tigele tia karabadan. Malay zu adaberonte gelebe sia arabaran talia. I can't tell about Zuga de Gibrocoto, Rebete, Meleke Zu, a lebranta calabazunte, Kedeka Labadu, a rebetica rabazuga de Gibrocoto, Leke do a lampranta calabazante, Keleberon Takala, Rebedi, a leke do a labazia, Kataka da Baron, take a lebe sente, Rebedi, a lebe suka la cabracati, a lebe sente. Whoever you are, that sister, that brother, God is telling me to tell you that he loves you. He said, I love you, my daughter, I love you, my daughter. I didn't bring you the fire to leave you alone. I didn't bring you the fire to forsake you. I am with you. I've always been with you and I'm with you and I'm here to restore you, to bless you in the name of Jesus. Rebedi alegazu alabarenteli adantalia rebedi katabaroko toko robosu alabarentelia robotu katakalabazanta kalabarontia lembrant ali elekedon takalabazante melebrant ali elekezu aligi prokotum rebedi elegezu alant ali eleberon takalabaz 
Zante, Rebeziga Lika Dalaba, don't take a lebe Zente. He didn't bring you the fire to leave you alone. He didn't bring you the fire to forsake you. In the name of Jesus, my lamb ran to Kalaba Santa. He brought you the fire to establish you. In the name of Jesus, and like it do a Labadan Talia, Rebeziga Liki Prokoto, God is telling me to tell you that you are blessed. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. 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 And you are loved. A lab ran to Kalaba Santa. Jesus love you. He want me to tell you that he loves you in the name of Jesus. Kosi abanto kurebeden. Melegi du lebero ati lebero nta karabadan. Rebe sika diki prokotontia. Kadam pakati lebero nta kalebezia in the name of Jesus. Rebedi leke zu leke borokotonti lebezente. Rebedi la branta kalabazante lebeden talia. La enemy that go liar that won't leave you alone that is working on you constantly. I pray at this hour. May the fire of the Holy Ghost visit them in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost visit and destroy every demonic power set up against you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I didn't bring you the fire to leave you alone. I didn't bring you the fire to leave you alone. I didn't bring you the fire to leave you alone. You could have died yesterday. You could have you could have died in that car accident, but I didn't bring you the fire to leave you alone. In the name of Jesus, you could have died in that sickness. You could have died in that childbirth, but I saved your life. And I didn't bring you the fire to leave you alone. I am with you. I am with you. In the name of Jesus, you will never fail. God is saying He's with you, and you will never fail. In the name of Jesus. Rebel take a lab no one that has stand with will fail, no one that has stand with, no one that I've with will fail. In the name of Jesus, he said no one that he's standing behind solidly will fail. Once he with you, he's standing behind you. You can never fail. And you will not fail. In the name of Jesus, just believe. You will not fail. That sickness will not kill you. In the name of Jesus, that problem will not drive you crazy. It won't kill you. It won't cut your life short in the name of Jesus. You will not die, but you will live to fulfill your destiny, to save your purpose on earth in the name of Jesus. And you will not be wayward in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be the head but not the tail. In the name of Jesus, God is telling you, you that person that is watching me, that you will be the head. You will not fail. You will succeed in whatever you put your hands in. In the name of Jesus. I am seeing somebody name. Some I'm seeing somebody name and I'm seeing the word over your name. I see a word reading over your name. Success. Success. Which means you will succeed. You will succeed. Whatever you put your hands in, don't worry, you will succeed. I'm seeing success. It's like your friends and your last name. I'm seeing success. You will succeed. You won't fail. You won't fail. You won't fail. We serve a mighty God. We serve a great God. In the name of Jesus, we serve a mighty God and we serve a great God. A wonderful God. A sons and wonders God. A miraculous God in the name of Jesus. That can change your story within a tremble of an eye in the name of Jesus. That can turn a stubborn problem around within a tremble of an eye in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't lose faith. Be encouraged. Be still. In the name of Jesus. Ekin toluko to rebedi kaleke deke leke leke baroko to rebedi lezu ali abraka tika lebo don taka laba santa meliki du katika la si akabaka taka laba santa reke de leke zu ala branta kala rebe du leke zu ala branta laba santa reke de kala branta kala santa 
And you that person that is watching me, that woman, that girl, that man, that need a change of a story, may God change your story in the name of Jesus. May the Almighty God visit you and change your story in the name of Jesus. May He take away every stubborn problem from out of your life. That problem that is challenging you, that will cause you to sleep. May the Almighty God take it away in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we love you, Lord. We exalt thee. To you be all the glory, Father. I am nothing what are you. I am nothing what are you, Lord. I am nothing what are you. And I say thank you. It is because of your grace and your mighty hands upon my life. And I'm here today to be a blessing to somebody. I am grateful. Less of me, more of you, Father. Manifest yourself. Do you what you alone know how to do best. We love you, Jesus. We exhort thee for everything, for everything, for every work you have done to them, for every blessing you have released to them. Father, we say thank you. We acknowledge you, Father. We give you all of the glory. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He gave you life. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He brought you this far. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You thought that problem could have cured you, but it did not cure you. And you are here today. Say thank you. Say thank you. You told us signal we're gonna end your life, but you didn't die. Say thank you. Say thank you. Say thank you. Calebran Takalaba Santa. Meleke Bran Takaraba Santa. Him fighting secret battles for you when you are asleep. He's fighting for you. You're going and you're coming and dealing him, releasing arrow back to send her back to whoever was sending against you. He block blocking arrows for your sake. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. Thank you in the name of Jesus. Kalaka tu aleke banta kaliya branta liya. Rebe du alaka zu aleke banta alaba santa. Meleke du aleke du arebeden. Meleke zu alaka tokoro bozu adaka lebe lanta liya. Rebe di aleke zu alebe danta liya. Mele branta li alebe danta liya. I kan suka di ke deba danta liya. Ke digi du ko taka leba zunte ke lebe danta liya. Rebe di alaka zu akadalaba. Santa Cabanta Calabaron Talia Rebedi and Legetsu and Labarakoto. No one will end your life early. No one will end your life early. You will live long. You will leave this early. Time God want you to leave. No untimely death will cut you short in the name of Jesus. Kelsebe Lokota Labalan Tokati. Kaleke Brokotoko Lebesente. Kalega Brant Egali Azia Katalaba Santa. Rebedi Aleka Du Arabatan Takalaba Santa. Kazikati Aleka Don Talabadonti Elezua. Milia Kadalaba Donti Legazunte Lebedin Talia. Rebedi Aldebedon Takalaba Santa. Rebedi Alegazu Aleka Don Talabadontia. Rababantali Aleka Don Tegaleka Zua Calabra. Talia, he can toli a lebelon talia, Rebedeca di a lavalon talaba santa, Rebedi a lekezualia braca tecalaba sante. In the name of Jesus, Father, may every evil wind I have blown tonight against the children of God, may it be destroyed, may it fall off, may it backfire, may it go back to the center in the name of Jesus. Every evil wind that have been blown tonight to destroy you, to steal from you. I command to go back in the name of Jesus. I command to go back to whoever sent it against you. It will not touch you. No evil can be in you. No evil can be for you in the mighty name of Jesus. As soon as they say light, then the evil people are up to destroy the children of God. But no one will destroy you. Any evil, anyone plan for you, let it go back to them. In the name of Jesus, let it backfire on them. In the name of Jesus, collaborate. 
Zebron take a lever of Catalaba Zoom, take a lever of Catalaba Santa, Rebel to a lake. Do no weapon from against you will prosper. No weapon from against me will prosper in the name of Jesus. Calabaron take a lava, seek a little brocotto, Rebel take a labran, take a Santa. My property is sitting in the kingdom of Dana. I call forth everything that belonging to me that is sitting on an evil water. I call it foot, I call it back in the name of Jesus. I call forth. Your blessings, everything that belongs to you that is sitting on that evil auto, I command it to come by and be restored back to you in the name of Jesus. I am the light of the world, and my light will keep shining bright. No one will cut me short. I'm here to stay. I'm here to be on Facebook for a very long time. No one can cut me short. I was sent. I'm not doing it by myself. I was sent by God to be a blessing to somebody. Many have been a blessing to me. It's time for me to be a blessing to somebody too. And you're mad because of that. You can't stop me. I came from far to get the stage. God took me from far. He didn't feel me then, he can't feel me now. He sent me. And I am here for a very long time. Get used to me, wherever you are. <laughs> like having a problem with me coming on Facebook, talking about God. It's my page, it's my life. It's my life, you know. I do what I want. And I was sent to be a blessing. Hallelujah. I love being a blessing. I love being a blessing. I love to be a blessing. I love to give. I love to give. I love to be a blessing. I don't like to take. No. The spirit God put inside of me is not to take. It's to give. So I feel good. Coming on to be a blessing. I think I feel good being used by God to be a blessing to somebody. Yes. Thank you, Father. Are you praying? Kalong Bali Agalantalia. Reverti Let fellowship. Let begin to worship God. Let fellowship tonight. In the name of Jesus. Some of you are so busy. You don't have time to go to church. You don't have time to, for God to spend time with God. But now God is raising people from Israel and the south of the earth, releasing them on social media to spread the word, to win souls for him, to bring people to him. And I am one of them. He asked me to do it, and I accept the call. Nobody can stop me. I came from far. Labaronti Lebe Zunta Calabaran Cali a lagadu a lega bracata Cassic a labranta li a lega dum tacalaba santa Rebeti a lebranta calaca soon take a leb rent take a leb Rapa sacali a lega dum talia Melebranta li a bacataca labronto bolobo sunta Jacadu rebeden Maria gambali a deberon talia Rebeti a lega zu a lega brocoto Rebeti a lagazu a labrantalia Rebeti a lega li a lebelon talia He cantoli a lega dum Takalabazu alekedon, ikan brantali e rebeden, melezu galike deke lokati ya karabadan tali e leke zunta, rebedi a leke zu a le brantalia, mala brantali e leke zu a la barantalia, ikan balakadu rebeden, meleka du a leke zu a li a brante ke leke zu a leke brakata, rebedega diki leke brakati ka laba zunta ke lebe runta laba santa, rapantali e leke zunta, rebezi ka leke brokotokolo bosunti gili. In the name of Jesus. Kazi Arabadan Talia, Kataka Laka Brontalia, Reke di a legedon de la Bazente, Rebe di a leged Zucala Braca Takalaba Santa, Rebe di a le Branta Calaca Brocoto, Jebrain Takalebe Sika di Gebrocoto, Leke Brocoto, Leke Zu a la Brantali, Meleke Zu a le Bronta, Lebe Zunte Gli a la Branta, Rebadaka Labazante Gelebe Sia, 
And whoever, whosoever that is watching me, that don't feel love, you feel that nobody love you, you are not love enough or nobody love you. I pray to them because sin love you with. May God send someone that will love you sincerely in the name of Jesus. May God send someone that will love you today. Love you sincerely in the name of Jesus. If you are looking for a spouse, a husband, or wife, or just love, receive it in the name of Jesus. And God wants me to tell you that He loves you. Don't feel in love. You are love in the name of Jesus. Tell yourself, I am love. Don't feel lonely. Yeah. Don't feel lonely. God is with you. He say, I am with you. I am with you. I love you. This is God speaking to you. I love you. And I am with you. In the name of Jesus, Kala Brantali Elezu Ali Abrakate, Jekedu Adaka Labadu Rebede, Li Elezu Ali Akalabaranta, Rekedi Rebede, Kala Branta Kalabaruka Tikalebe, soon take a lebezia. Father, in the name of Jesus, every evil that been released in the air against us for the coming of week, this new week, for us, for our families, for our children, our spies. We destroy it in the name of Jesus. Every evil that has been released in the air against us for the coming up month, we destroy it in the name of Jesus. Every evil that has been released against the children of God for this year, we destroy it in the name of Jesus. Father, I say, preserve your children in the mighty name of Jesus. And you that is making that terrible, that terrible mistake. No wrong decision. I release interest to go and help you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, to help you make the right decision. You always make wrong decisions. Bad mistakes. I release the angel right now to go and build help to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are not made of mistakes again. You won't make those mistakes again. In the name of Jesus, receive wisdom, wisdom. You like wisdom, receive wisdom. In the name of Jesus, King of glory, we lift you up higher. Not like you and none can ever be compared unto your holy name. In the name of Jesus, Kalia Rebedan, Bele Zuka Dika Barakata, Rebedu Eleke Zuka Dike Brakate, Rebedu Alakazante, Meleke Zuka Katalaba Zuka Lake Brakoto, Rebedi Eleke Zunta Kalaba Santa, Rebedi Alaba Zuka Lake Brakate Lebe Sente. In the name of Jesus, God is telling somebody, say, Trust me. Believe in me. Trust me. You need to trust God. No matter what the situation is. Trust God. In the name of Jesus, trust him. Put your trust in God. And you will never regret it. And he will never fail you. In the name of Jesus. Korupoton tali ezikata barantalia. Melia rebeden kadia karaba tunti kaleka sakti. Tale ali ebarokoton ti kalaba zanti kaleberonti yakala rantalia. Kosubali abarakatam beri adi elepezen. Roboton ali abarakaden te lekezon ali abrante kali azi abarakaton talia. Rebelu adi abarakaton ti yakala sunta. Shiberokati yakarabeden. Rabasunta Rabati Karabadan Meli as he I like a duga rabata calabarakoto Rabedi a leg and suka tika labazanta calabaran talia Koto colaba rocati a carabadan Meli as he a cabon taka lebedun take a leke zunte Rebede katika labran takalia zuadi a lebedan Mele a dua lan tolia E kamba katika leke ton takalia kazuka di Rakanteli ebantolia ali as he a calabiron talabazanta cali a lab. Talia, Rebedia Lezu Ali Abrantalia, Rebedi Legazu Ali Abrantala, 
Shebrentalia Balocoton Tarala Barantalia Rebedi a legazuali abracade. He can't only a lezuali a land alabadantoli. Malay do a Lebanon talabazunte. He can brant a Lebanon take a lebezu a Lebanon talia. Reked a Lebanon takarabadantalia. He can tolocoto rebeden. Melezuali alabadon takalabazante. Rebedi a lekazuka di abantalia. Meleke do a lekazun takalambali. Rebedi a lekazun take a Lebanon talia. Rebedaka do robodon talia. Sebeleba no katakala basuka liki brokoto kolaba siga di kadaba rokotala basu eli e brokoto rekete kalebe tu kulebe zu ala branta la basante meleke tu ala baronta lia rebede amalaya tu alia katam i kam branti alia sua abai e tu kulem brokoto ntia i ke zua i alia branti ya abero kati eleke zunta la rebede if you can speak in tongues speaking tongues will be in the name of Jesus let begin to pray to our Father let begin to speak to our Father. Let's speak to our heavenly Father tonight, right now, in the name of Jesus. Robodon, he can go to the Lebelon Talebe Zunte, Melebran Tali, Lebelan Talia, he can go to the Roboton Tig Lebezu, a Labaronta, Calabasanta, Rebedu, a Lebezante, Rebedi, a Labadon, Miria Catu, a Labadoko, Rebedi, a Lebezu, a Liacata, a Labadanta, Malabranta, a Labazu, a Caprocoton, Rebeden, Melebran Tali, a Lebezu, a Labaracata, a Labasa. Rebede ke te ke lebe zua kalabada ne ke zu oromoronti ya kalabuonti ya karabata ne ke zua la barateli ya kazente me ne ke bronto ko la kati ke leke ke de godi ya kaporo kati ya kalabasu wa kari ya bronte ke lebe zunte kata kalabero kati ya lebe zua li ya karabanta rabati zibidun digli barenta li rebeden me ne ke zua li ya kalabantu ko rebeden ta kalabazunta rebedi si ya bronta li ya me ne zua kabala katanta le kate rebesi kadaba le kato ko rebeden je bronta kalabazu wa karabendi kata kalo ko rebedo ko Kalaba zunte kalabero kata karabata rebezi adake donta kalabaronta rebedi lebranta li rebedan melezu kadi kalabaron talaba zunte kalabero kati yakarabadan robotonti kalabezi alabarento kadi rebedi melizu ali yakarabado ko robotonti alabazi yakadabelen. O kanta la kalonti ke lebe zu ala bere katonti ke le bront alia rakam bali ala belonza kali ala boli eli bara katonta e kento le kadia kadaburu kadia je ke lu rebeden mele zu kali ke bragate je ke dia la ke zu kali ke bragadi ke le be zu ala baran tala bazan mele ke don kadi ala bront alia e kento le ke de bero katala baze li rebeden alia rebedi ala ke zu kali ke den tala God wants somebody to pray tonight. That's why I keep praying. He wants you to pray. He wants you to pray. He wants you to open your mouth and pray. If you are not praying, open your mouth and pray. God is a spirit. He's a spirit. He sees in the spirit. And you know what is going on tonight. And right now, he's telling you to pray. Don't just look up. Pray in the name of Jesus. Kotolobo sua rabedan. Meleke du leke zu ala baranta la basa kadiga broka tonta galebe donta kalaba zunte. Rebedi leke zu ala baranta lia. Mele branta li lebe donta kala. Rebedi galebe zu karabadan. Mele zu kadaba donta kalia karabado robotonti galaba zigali kideke lebe donta lia. Kalabra kata kada kado kore rebe kadi ke broka toko rebe zante ke di di do kore rebe do kore rebe di ya kara baza raba danta kalaba ronti ke lebe zua kapra kata rebe di le zua abanta kalaba lon raba danta kalaba zua li ke broka toko rebe zante ke lebe danta liya Father we call for your glory let your glory fall on us tonight in the name of Jesus I call for the glory of God to fall on us tonight to fall on you to come upon me to come upon you Father we call for your glory tonight. Father, let your glory come. Let your glory fall on us tonight. 
In the name of Jesus, we want to feel your presence tonight, Father. We want to feel your glory tonight in the name of Jesus. We call for your glory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we call for your glory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we call for your glory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we call for your glory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we call for your glory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we call for your glory. I can't look at the Alhebeden, Rebetica Laba Suka de Caprega de Gilebe Zunte, Meli Adam Baracadon, He can rat a Calia Sica Lake Procoto Golobo Santa Calabada Cati, Rebeden, Melezu Alia Carabataca Laba Sua Caprocoto, Rebeden, He can rant a Calicazu Alia Cadabaron Tacali, a Berecadu, Rebeden. She brands Ali Arabedem, Meleke do Alaba Zu Ali Akarabedon, Sakali Akazambari, Meleke do Arabede, Kadi Alaba Zu Alaberon Takala. I am the light of the world, I am the hair but not the tail. In the name of Jesus, somebody say that to yourself, I am the light of the world. My light will not be cut short, my light will shine bright. My light will shine bright. And my light will draw many in the name of Jesus. My light will draw many. Many will be drawn to my light. My light will shine bright. I'm the light of the world. I will never fail. I was sent on the earth to succeed, not to fail. I'm not a failure. I'm not a disappointment. I am a blessing. Say that to yourself. I am a blessing. I am a blessing. Many don't see me as a blessing, but I am a blessing. God is speaking to somebody. Many don't see you as a blessing, but you are a blessing. Say to yourself, I am a blessing. I am a blessing. I am a blessing. I am the light of the world. My light will shine and my light will shine bright. Nobody will dim my light. Nobody will cut me short. I am here on earth to succeed, to do what God called me to do. Hallelujah. Begin to prophesy over your life. Begin to prophesy over your life in the name of Jesus. Say, I'm the light of the world. I am not a failure. I am not a disappointment. I am a blessing. I am a blessing. I will succeed. I will not fail. I am love. I am love. In the name of Jesus. Jesus loves you. Kalezu adi abelakete. Rebe du eleke zu ala granta kalebe suka liki prokoto kolaba santa. Rebe tika le granta kalaba santa. Rebe du eleke prokoto eleke zika laba rakatala. We are not here to fool around. God is speaking to somebody. We are not here to fool around. He didn't send you on the earth to fool around, to play around. God sent you on earth for a particular purpose. God sent you on earth to succeed, to be a blessing. Hallelujah. He sent you on earth for you to be blessed and to be a blessing to many others in the name of Jesus. Don't let anyone to dim your light. Don't let anyone to cut you short. You were meant to succeed. You were destined to prosper in the name of Jesus. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You are the hair but not the tail. You will prosper. You will succeed. You won't fail. You are not destined to fail. You are not a failure. You are not a disappointment. You are not a mistake. But you are a blessing. And you are the light of the world. If you are watching me and you are a child of God, you believe in Jesus. And you believe that Jesus died on the cross for you. You are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. You are not a failure. You are not a failure. You were sent to succeed, to prosper, to do mighty things, to be great. 
in the name of Jesus. Kalia Kaboka Sika Lake Sweeti Gam Brantalia Rebedi Azia Karatren Rebedi Kale Branta Kala Branta Kala Santa. Rise and shine bright. Rise up from your slumber and shine bright. You are pressing at the stock. Rise up. God is telling you to rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Don't stay there. This world that we live in will go through a lot of challenges, difficulties, setbacks. When it was set back, come in your life, difficulty come in your life. It's okay. We don't ask for them, but they come. You gotta find a way to pull yourself out of there. Don't stay there. Don't stay there. You have the power to pull yourself out. You have the power to pull yourself out. Don't stay there. Come out of it. Dust yourself off and keep moving. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Tell yourself, I can do this. I can do this. Don't just be weak and yet, no. <laughs> Wake up like the soldier you are. We are soldiers on the earth. It's, this war is evil. This earth is hell. You cannot be weak. Little thing and I hit you, then you just fall back. I'm done. Jesus. Don't quit too soon. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Don't stay there. You know yourself. You are watching. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Dust yourself off. Come out. Come out. You can do this. You are very strong. More than the way you think of yourself. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Don't stay there. Come out. You are well built. Come out of there. Okay? Come out of there. Out of that sadness, that difficult situation, come out of there. Come out in the name of Jesus. Oh, he's not lost. He still have a lot more to achieve. God still have a lot of blessings to release to you, to pull over you, to get stuff. But you have to come out at least try to fight. You can't be too comfortable in that spot. No, things happen. In this world, the world that we're in, the Bible says there'll be a lot of troubles, a lot of problems. But what you remember, he said, he has overcome the world. So you can stay there, you can get stuck. Come out of there. Be encouraged. Oh, yes, oh, it's not lost. Be encouraged, or oh, it's not lost. In the name of Jesus. Come out. 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 Whoever you are. Come out in the name of Jesus. As I'm saying it, the person is getting screened to come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Come out. Frustration from your husband, from boyfriend, lots of job. Come out. Don't get depressed. Don't stay there. Come out. Come out of there. Come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Accomplish more. You are blessed. Casa Santa Rebedi Rebedi 
Mele kadu ala baranta liya ikam branta kelebe zu aliya kapar kuto. Rebedi ele zu kapar kata lebe lo kati ala bezante. Mele kadu ala kezu kapar baran. Ele kadu ala kezu kapar kadun te kelebe zu alam branta li ele kadun te kala baranta liya. Rebedi ele kezu kapar kata. Rebedi ele kezu aliya ele branta li ele kezunte. Ikam branta li ele kezu ala kapar kadi ele bezu aliya rebeda adi akara. Santa. Receive that grace to succeed, to prosper. Kalasu kati kalaba sunte, rebedi eleke zuba la branta to overcome in the name of Jesus. Zekeli a rebedan, rebedi eleke zuba da kapro kati kalaba santa. Receive the grace that you need to get to the next level in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father. Rebedi and Zebra Kotoko Rabo Sunta in the name of Jesus. You that person that is watching me, I think you are not beautiful in, enough. You look down so much on yourself. You look down yourself so much. You don't think you are beautiful. <laughs> you look down yourself so much. God want me to tell you not to look down yourself, but you are beautiful. You are blessed. You are great. You are good. You are beautiful. Stop doubting yourself. Stop looking at yourself like you are not all that. You are all that in God's eyes. You are so beautiful. He want me to tell you to stop looking down on yourself. That you are beautiful in and out. If the people are around you don't want to tell you, he using my mouth to tell you that you are beautiful. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. One of the best, best, best bees he ever made. You are beautiful. Have confidence in yourself. Okay? Say to yourself, I am beautiful. Say to yourself, I am beautiful. Say to yourself, I am beautiful. Look at yourself. Bluff on me a little bit. Say, I am beautiful. And you are beautiful. Shake it too. Pranta liya rebeden. Katalba braka takalaba zu aleke zun teke leberon talaba santa. Rebedi ekadi akam baruko toba rebeden. Rebedi aleke zu alaba lan talaba zakali abraka to. Jebero koton takalaba ron takabron tali arabeden aleba zunta. Rebedi aleke zu aleke braka takalaba santa. Holy go fire arrest my arrestors in the name of Jesus. Rabadi aleke zu aleke braka to. I'm not the one praying. Your Holy Spirit is praying for you tonight. The Holy Ghost praying for everyone else, for you and I. So as I'm praying, pray after me. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost arrest your arrest us tonight in the name of Jesus. Arrest your enemy tonight in the name of Jesus. Arrest that wish that is constantly on your case. Lord, feminine, constantly on your case. Let the Holy Ghost fire arrest and destroy and get it out of your way in the name of Jesus. Rebeti, Jabran takala bazua kaprandali elezu alaberen takale bedo katika la basanta. Rebeti aleke zun takale bedo talia. Rebeti aleke zugoro boton. Holy Ghost fire verse my enemy tonight in the name of Jesus. Whosoever calling my name for evil, let them face the fire of God and let them face the judgment of God. 
Lord, in the name of Jesus. Whosoever that constantly on my case, Father, I pull them down in the name of Jesus. I command the ground to open and swallow them up in the name of Jesus. Whosoever that wish that person is sending me evil arrow constantly, that don't want me to succeed. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your fire consume and roast them to ashes in the name of Jesus. I command the ground to open and swallow them. Father, Father, I sue my enemies to you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your fire visit my enemies. Let your fire visit that difficult problem in my life, that difficult situation, that marital problem. Father, let your fire visit that problem and fix it in the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Ghost fire visit my enemies. Visit that altar, that evil altar, witchcraft altar, like keeping my name. That won't leave my name alone. That wish in chance on my lane at this hour right now. Father, we send fire. Mm? Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy fire. Fire on our altar. Fire on our altar. Fire in our present mouth. That keep enchanting on our names. Speaking evil over our names. Constantly. Daily. Constantly. The evil people, they never rest. They never rest. Constantly they are working. To see the children of God down to see us fall, to see us fail. Yes, we love God, we serve in God, we are faithful, but it's not enough. You gotta be vigilant. You gotta be brutal, especially in the last day. You gotta be prayerful. You gotta be well alert. You gotta be able to hear God clearly. You gotta be able to obey God, to know when to move and when not to move. A little mistake in this last day, you get killed for no reason, or some kind of heavy trouble calamity we have fall over you we have to be prayerful we have to be vigilant we have to be brutal take god seriously we need to take god seriously listen to him more obey him more in the name of jesus listen to god more obey god build a relationship with god build that intimate relationship with god Spend time with God. Spend time with God. Obey Him. Listen to Him more. I'm telling you, the world we live in is very evil. You know, there are a lot of people that don't like you just because you are good. People don't like you just because you are good. Nothing wrong with you. You're not a bad person. You are a very good person. And that's the main reason why they don't like you. Just because you are good. You just so good. Why she have to be why she have to be that good? Why you have to be her? Why she have to be that blessed? Why? Why you always have to be about her? Why she have to always get the attention? Why? So many why. Is that a crime that I'm too good? Is it a crime that I'm too beautiful? Is it a crime? I have the beautiful case. Is it a crime that I have a male that love me? Is it a crime that I have food to eat? Is it a crime that I walk the way I walk? Yeah. So somebody is a crime. And they're going to take your name to an evil altar for that. Can you imagine that? Somebody take your name to an evil altar just because you are beautiful. And they can stand your beauty. Just because you are too good. And they can stand the good inside of you. And you didn't make yourself. God made you. God put that in you for a purpose. He put that in you for a purpose. To make you a blessing to somebody. To your family, to your friends, to children. To make you a blessing to the world. But the world we live in, they hate good people. Yep. This world we live in, don't like good people. They like wicked, mean people. They will leave you alone once you're wicked and mean. They will leave you alone. But once you're too good, uh, it bothers them. But are you going to start being good? Just because they don't like you, you can't stop being good. You got to keep being good. That's the main reason why God sent you. Matter of fact, God sent you to be good. God sent you on earth to be good, to be who you are, to, be, to do what you're doing now, to be good. We all have different destinies. Maybe you, you were sent to just be good to people, to help people. And somebody hates you for that. We gotta keep being good, but in being good, be wise. Be wise. Use wisdom. Know who to be good to. 
the world is evil. The world we live in is evil and terrible. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. I used to be in the world like when I didn't like totally surrender to God. When I didn't totally surrender to God, when I was a little out there having some fun, I saw a little bit in the world. And I surrendered totally to God five years ago, and now I, I am with God. I'm in the body of Christ with my kingdom, brothers and sisters. It's worse with, in the kingdom of God. They do the same, I'm telling you. They do the same. Jealousy for no reason, hatred for no reason. But once you keep doing what God sent you to do, and whatever you are doing that God sent you to do it, He will protect you. He will back you up. But use wisdom. Use wisdom. Use wisdom. Use wisdom. Whoever you are, whatever I'm saying, touch your heart. I am speaking to you. Use wisdom. You don't use wisdom. You're too open. You're too free. Nah, God wants us to be free. He wants us to be good. But in doing it, protect yourself. Protect your children. Protect the children that God gave you. Protect your life. Protect your life. Protect your children. One of my older sisters got killed just because she was too good. She opened her door to everyone. She allowed everyone in. And they used one of the one of the kids that was leaving her to poison her. That's how she died. Yeah, they used those that were close to her. So it's okay to be good, but use wisdom and be good. Use wisdom. I keep hearing that for you. You don't use wisdom. You don't use wisdom. Father, whoever that person is, convert your heart. You don't use wisdom. God is telling you. You don't use wisdom. Use wisdom. <laughs> yeah, excuse me, me drink a little problem. God said, I should tell you. God is telling you to use wisdom. The world we in is so evil. People just hate you because you are good. I haven't seen this. Why would I be hate just because I'm good? Why would I be destroyed just because I'm good? I used to be like that. I was very good too. But I got hit many times. And I learned. I learned. And I believe God gave me wisdom how to be good. You can have people. You can be nice to people. But do it from distance. You can leave them in your house. And walk to the store. You can't leave your kids anywhere. With anybody. Anyhow. Protect yourself. God protect us, but again, he has failed to use wisdom in doing what he wants us to do in our power. Use wisdom. Evil world we live in. I have learned so much the hard way. I was the same. But when I surrendered to God, he decided to work on me. He worked on all the areas. He showed me my fault in that part. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'll be friend with you once you come to my house. You want to even sleep in my bedroom where me and my husband can sleep? I'll say, Go ahead, sleep. That used to be me. <laughs> Go ahead, you can take the bed. I'll sleep in the living room. That's wrong. Mm -mm. That was me then. That's how far my goodness was. But ooh, I got whipped. I got whipped and I learned never to do that again. Now when you, when you come to visit me, he will sit maybe by the door. What do they do? Not even the living room. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But God wants us to use wisdom. Don't get killed. Don't get hurt for your own good. In the name of Jesus. He loves you. And with you. And we need to use wisdom in my area. Collaborantalia zia liki don't takalabarantalia. Let us begin to pray for the spirit of wisdom. Not only in our area. Like we need wisdom to raise our kids in our marriages, our relationships. In everything that we do, we need wisdom. So if you are watching me, begin to ask God to give you the spirit of wisdom. 
to give you wisdom how to handle stuff, how to deal with things, how to go about life in this evil world. You need the wisdom of God. You need wisdom. You need wisdom for everything. Because sometimes you think you're too smart. But you saw what your smart dad did to you. Like, <laughs> your smart dad put you in a lot of mess. But what God gave you his wisdom, it guides you, it helps you a lot. So let us be you. Ask God for wisdom. Say, Father, give me the spirit of wisdom. Give me the grace of wisdom. I need wisdom. Wisdom to raise my kids, to stay in my marriage, to run my home, to train my children. Wisdom for my job. Wisdom. Father, we need wisdom to move around with my friends. I need wisdom in what you call me to do. In church, I need wisdom. Let any area you find yourself or whatever you're doing for yourself or for God, as for wisdom, we need the wisdom of God. In this world that we're living, people pretend too much. And human beings, they are so evil. Human beings are so evil. The earth is wicked now. Evil. Very evil. Very evil. And the wickedness is everywhere. It's rampant. And they go helping us. And with the wisdom he has given some of us, yeah, we get in there, we survive. So, Father, we ask for your wisdom, wisdom, spirit of wisdom, come upon me, spirit of wisdom, come upon that person that needs, that is watching me in the name of Jesus. Kalabra taka laba zu ali edebe leke dun taka lebe zunta rebe du alaka zuka tika braka taka laba santa rebe du alanzu ali ya kalebe dun taka laba sante rebe di alaka zu ali ya rebe den tika laba zu ali ya brakoto jeke du karabata rebe du adi alaba sante kade brant ali ya rebe si alaka du rebe den Jaka zaka laba zuwa rebeden lebe roko tolo busunta rebeti kalaba santa kaboko to yakasi karabata rebetu kalaba santa who ever is washing me and so okay your name to an evil altar enchanting on your name every evil that has spoken on your name on that altar let it work on them whatever evil they are released on your name I command it to tend to blessing for you it will come to you like a blessing, it will be a blessing. That curse, that bad luck, that accident, that sin. Any evil that is speaking all your name to that altar, I command it to backfire in the name of Jesus. That every evil, wherever they're doing against you on that altar, turn into blessing for you in the name of Jesus. The way is so evil, turn Carry your name to an evil altar. Every day you're too good, you're too pretty. You fall of yourself. She fall of herself. Who she thinks she is? She fall of herself. Who she thinks she is? You carry her name to her evil author. Just because of that, she fall of herself. She fall of herself. Who she thinks she is? Who she thinks she is? Who she you think she is? <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Whatever I'm hearing, I'm telling you guys. Everybody who she thinks she is. Who she thinks she is? I will show her. I will show her. Show her now. They're trying to say you so you bad. Why are you suffering? And they, I think they love you. Hey man, what is she happening, man? Hey man, you know, then beyond you, they love me. <laughs> hey, she thinks she all that. I got her. Let's see now. Let's see. And somebody you watching me, God says you should keep your business to yourself. If I'm not lying enough, you'll let me know. I don't know. Keep your business to yourself. You talk too much. You're telling your business to your enemies. Keep your problems to yourself. I'm hearing keep your problems to yourself. 
keep your business to yourself. Keep your business to yourself. You talk too much. And you're talking to the wrong people. You are talking to the wrong people. They ain't gonna help you. My husband do this. My husband do that. They make him sit down. He don't listen to me. As you leave, they laugh. Good for You know yourself, you're watching me. He's so mean to me. He not nice. He doesn't sit home. He doesn't spend time with me or the children. Your heart is heavy. You're crying too much. But your problem too start with you, okay? Stop talking to the wrong people, whoever you are. That is watching me. Just wise words from the Holy Ghost to you. From the Holy Spirit to you. It's not me. It's the Holy Spirit. God is speaking to you. Don't look at me, baby. Don't look at me, baby. The Holy Spirit is speaking to you. God is speaking to you. God is telling you to keep your business to yourself. My husband doesn't come home. My husband not doing this. My husband not doing that. My husband not doing this. My husband not doing that. You're talking to the wrong people. They ain't gonna help you. Care your problem to God, okay? You that sister, whoever you are that is watching me, care your problem to God. Stop talking to the people. You know yourself. Yep. You got convicted in your heart when I started speaking. How did she know? <laughs> How did she know? Not me. It's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit know your business. Holy Spirit. He's a spirit. He see your spirit. So he using my mouth to speak to your physical body. So you can stop. Can you like can you make time? I don't know how to put this. He wants you to make time. Make time for him. Make praying time. Well, how can I put this? Alright, in short, take your business to God. God wants you to pray to him. But he wants you to make time. At least talk about fast. But if you can't fast, you're in a condition that you can't fast. He wants you to make time. Spend some time with him. Cry to him. Pray. 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 He knows you. I don't know you. I live far from you. I'm not where you are. I'm not your friend. You don't tell me your business. But God sees. And you see your suffering, you see your pain. You see my daughter bring your case to me. My daughter bring your case to me. I'll fight for you. Bring your problem to me. I'll fight for you. Bring your business to me. I'll fight for you. That's what God is saying. Those friends that you talk to, they are not good. Or whoever that you confide in, they're not good. They laugh at you whenever you leave. You put your heart out to them. When you leave, they make fun of you. So God wants you to make him your friend. Make him your best friend. Care your business to him. Tell him, Father, the man doesn't come home. He doesn't spend time with me. Father, he's your father. Talk to him. Father, I want more time with my husband. I want him to come home. I want him to spend time with the children. I want him to spend time with me. I want him to care for me more. Father, mercy. Whatever I fall short, anything that I have done that brought this upon me, have mercy. Any door that I have opened that brought this upon me, mercy. Lord, have mercy upon me. Restore me. Restore my marriage. Bring my husband. Talk to God. 
I'm telling you, once you carry a problem to God, it will take time. But once God add on it, it will be real. You'll have peace of mind. But friends, it won't help you. Before I repent, I had this one friend. Oh, we mean we can do some stupid things. <laughs> Uh, there are some people saying you know, in you know, a mess that I used to be in. Uh, there's one friend. You married with me or people that are in relationship watching me. Ah, uh, this friend. Everything I have in my relationship, I came with a deal with black girl on the phone. Oh my god, you don't know what he did to me. He did that, he did that, he did that. <laughs> that is stupid. Very stupid. Oh, he did that, he did that, he did that, he did that, he did that. He did that. Oh, let every little thing my own. I can't wait to update that friend. Or even a man leave, we'll be in good away. I can't wait to call. Who who is she? Who that friend? Is she God? What's she gonna do for you? Is she gonna solve your problems? Then she will start her own um she will start telling me about her relationship, whatever she's going through to. Oh yeah, my own too. My man did it. <laughs> oh my god. Why is wonderful? God had worked on me. He took all of that out of me. I don't do that anymore. I don't do that anymore. I don't need to tell my business to no friend. I tell my business to God. Matter of fact, I don't even say much. <laughs> because God speaks to me. He tell me a lot of things before they happen. And when they are happy, happening, he tell me the cause and he gave me the solution. And I deal with it right away. Or even when it is happening, he didn't tell me the cause. Then I'm cool. You know, it feels good to know the cause of the problem and the solution. But if you don't know at all, you get confused and you get anxious. Yeah, that's a bad part where you know where you can't hear God. Where you can't hear from God, that's a bad part. If you can hear from God, like your ears, your eyes, everything open spiritually, God will tell you. He'll tell you. Don't talk to that friend. He'll probably speak to you through dream. And nowadays, for some reason, Christians, sometimes even if God speaks to us, we don't listen, we don't obey. Yeah, some 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 people he will tell them in dream, but they say, ah, maybe that's mm, not serious, me. Don't overlook your dream. Don't overlook what God show you. Don't take nothing for granted. At least not in the end time, not the days, the 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 end time that we're living, the days that we're living. People are wicked. Ah, people are wicked. Oh. Hmm. I'm telling you, that one I love you. Yeah, the one I killing you slowly. The one I seriously love me, acting like a kid, that's the one that is killing you. I couldn't wait for a day to break. I would call that friend, tell her everything. Well, I couldn't wait for my husband to go to work. I would call that friend. Who did we on the phone talking stupidness for four hours? Whoa. Yo, he did this. He did that. He did this. He did this. He did this. You are a man in problem. Sit with a man. You talk about it. Tell him how you feel. You're doing this and you're doing that. I don't like it. I'm just bringing your, you know, your attention to it. Or whatever that is going on, can we find a solution? Can we try to have some peace in this house? You are not to be, don't be too proud. It's not nothing. Your peace of mind is better than I had it going through. Your heart burning, it may go to well, you go out and you call your friend, you want to food and you're more healthy. No, I used to do that, I used to talk a lot. Now, since I totally repented, God has worked on me in my mouth, I use it now to speak in tongues. I use it to punish the devil with the Holy Ghost fire. I use my mouth for something good. I don't have no friend to talk to. Even if I have a friend, why would I tell you my business? Will you help me? No. Can you help yourself? No. Only God can help every one of us. So why would somebody be on phone? Oh, they would have get from ignorant. I did that because I never knew better. But God had worked on me and took that away. So I am good. If you find yourself in that situation, tell God to help you. It's not good. Be on phone all day. No friends love you past themselves. Oh. Friends, they love themselves past you. No friend, I, I, I can't do the best. Oh, my right and that. Mm -mm. They love themselves past you. And the world will live in, I don't know why, for some reason, everybody want to see another person fall. They want to always see themselves up high and then the next person down. Why? There is an evil one. An evil one. 
So if you have problem, talk to God. Make time for God. Take two day fast, three day fast. If you cannot fast, at least isolate yourself from everybody else. Spend some quiet time at home and talk to God. At least make time. That's what God is asking. He said, make time for me, my daughter. Make time for me, my son. Make time. You're busy with the job, with the children, everything else. What about your maker? Make time. He wants you to make time. And he will take away that heaviness from your heart. Your heart is so heavy. So much pain. So much pain. You are crying so much and you talk so much to friends and the friends not helping you. But once you talk to God, he will take away that pain. I'm a living witness. I was in a mess before. Going through serious pain within my heart. I isolated myself. I gave myself to God. I surrendered totally. The first thing he did is to give me peace. Then he started working on the problem. And as I'm telling you today, I'm good. Because Jesus lives in me. He speaks to me. He shows me things. He tell me everything. I got it before it even happen. So you, it might look like a problem to me. It's not a problem because I have the solution. God already showed me the solution. He already showed me a way out. And he showed me the cost. And he's telling me when it will expire. So I'm cool. I'm always calm. I'm not anxious. Nothing bad is me. Because I got this. It started by me surrendering totally. I got tired. I got tired. Fake friends. Fake family members. Fake everything around me. <laughs> I got tired doing it my way. I got tired doing it by myself. I needed a help, a spiritual help. I needed power to help me. And I can never go to voodoo priest. I can never go to money man. Uh -uh, none of that. I'm a child of God. I belong to Jesus Christ. So I had to keep my problems in him. And since then, he's been helping me and he's still helping me. Whatever the problem is, the situation, you just make time and talk to God about him. And you that need wisdom, receive wisdom in the name of Jesus. You that have that heavy heart, that crying, all that situation. I, I release the peace of God over you. I command a heaviness to leave you. Receive peace in the name of Jesus. Receive peace in the name of Jesus. Receive peace. Receive peace. Receive peace. Receive peace. Get some sleep tonight. Get some sleep. Get some sleep. You will sleep sign tonight. In the name of Jesus. As I'm saying it, so shall it be. It can be otherwise. You will sleep sign tonight. You will sleep sign like you don't even have problem. And when it happens, whoever you are, inbox me. You will sleep sign tonight. We say peace. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We give you all glory. We give you all honor of our belong to you. We thank you, Jesus. I love you, Father. Thank you for bringing me on. Thank you for making me a blessing. I thank you, Lord. I exhort thee. Be glorified and be magnified. Thank you, Jesus. Rebezu a catalabasu a dike procoto, Shia brantali a leper sente, Calabranta calabasu a di a leperen, Casaparon tiki lepesu a dike procoto, Cabocoton dali a lay a lia carabata lebisun tika lebesicata, Crobosun taka lebesu a dike procoto. I'm hearing why you have so many friends, too many friends. I don't know who the person is. Too many friends, it's a lot of distraction. Too many friends, it's a lot of distraction. What a time you're gonna have for yourself, your family, or God. You can love people, you can have friends, but don't be too basic with them. Don't, don't be too caught up into that. Too many friends. 
because I'm here. You have too many friends. Make time for me. This is God speaking to that person. You have too many friends. God down the list. Start safe doing. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all honor. Power belong to you. We thank you, Jesus. We love you, Father, King of glory. I am that I am. To you be all the glory. To you be all honor. Thank you, Jesus. Kasu branta liya rebeden, rebedu ataka lebe suka diki prokoto. I'm hearing, come down with your temper. Come down with your temper. You got hard temper. Temper, temper problem. Somebody here, come down with your temper. Anger problem. Temper. Come down. God is telling you to calm down. I'm not the one speaking. God is speaking to you. He's saying, calm down. You got temper, high temper. He has messed a lot of things for you and will mess up more. If you don't get help, if you can't control yourself, control yourself. Ask God to help you to take it away. Okay? Ask God to help you to take it away. I command you to be delivered for that spirit of anger in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. And may God help you to let it go. To put it under control. Because it will mess a lot of things for you. That anger problem, that temper problem will keep messing up things for you. Shake it to karabati ya karabeden. Meleke zu karabeden tia karabatan. God is raising soldiers and raising his children, sending them out in the war to bring his other children. Because the devil too is busy trying to destroy many. God too busy raising many and sending them out in the war to go and preach, to go and win souls. To go and win souls, to bring his children back to him. And people are so caught up in everything else until they don't make time for God. They don't make time to go to church. So now he's making church available online. He's calling on many, raising many people, many soldiers and releasing them out there. If I can now reach out to my neighbor, you can reach out to your neighbor. You can reach out to your neighbor. You can reach out to your coworker and tell them about God. Tell them about Jesus. Tell them to repent. Tell them to live for God. They shouldn't die in sin. Now day, anything can happen. Anything. As for me, I'm ready. Whenever. I don't care. Anything can happen. Anything at any time. Your life can be cut short. Anything terrible could happen. You just want to be ready. Make sure you are safe. And know where you're going to spend eternity. Work on your salvation. And sending people out. And I happen to be one of them. He's saying he's going to be bringing me online once in a while to talk to some of his children. Whoever that will come across my video, they will be blessed. I didn't bring myself. God brought me here. And I make myself available. So you can make yourself available. Talk to your neighbor. Talk to your co-worker. Talk to your children. Bring the kids on board. Bring the kids on board. Bring the kids on board. Don't let society put whatever in them. Don't let the teacher to put whatever in them. Even if teacher is putting something there, you got to put your own thing there. You got to put in, put God in them. Tell them about God. Tell them about Jesus. Make them to read the Bible. You have time, like you'll spend time with God. I didn't bring, at least bring them up in a way they won't depart from God. Build a foundation for them. Hallelujah. Bring the case on board. Tell your neighbor, tell your co-worker that Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. Repent. Live for God. Make time for God. Turn away from your wicked ways. You've been wicked from childhood today. You can't change wickedness. You sleep inside. But please don't die in it. Repent. Turn away from your wicked ways. Love God, live for God, serve God, fulfill your destiny. Get out of that dark room, get out of that darkness. You are the light, you should be shining bright. 
It shouldn't be mixed with the wrong crown. You should stand out because you are the light of the world. <laughs> Bring the kids on boom. Get them involved. Let them read their Bible. Your read some Bible stories. <laughs> Even you, the adult, make time. Make time for God. Jesus loves you. In the name of Jesus, say, Brantalia, Cabrantalia. Cadi, Le, Branta, Caleb, and Sunta. In the name of Jesus. Right now, I'm led to share my testimony. What God did for me last year. He saved I'm a daughter from a terrible car accident. The accident, it was so quick. I'm telling you, death for someone to die in hell. In a trinkle of an eye, you'll be gone. <laughs> it was so quick. The devil had his plan. Everything was set up. They took my name in their coven. They did all they had to do. They were sure they got me. They were very sure. But because I love God, and I live for God. My whole life is God. God to have plans how to save me. God had his plans how to save me from that accident. And I am grateful to them. I was lying down, wasn't even thinking about going out that morning. My older daughter missed her school bus. They seen they were like that, but they wanted me to go out. She missed her school bus. She told me, oh, mommy, I need a ride. I missed my school bus. I was like, okay. Let me give you a ride. I wasn't on the express. Where I live is not much traffic. It's just a free road. Driving, like, you won't even see many cars. Like in the community. This driver came from the driveway. I'm going straight. Just like the person on speed. Like the devil was so sure to end my life. Pressing on speed, they just ran right into me. Like it was meant for death. But as I said, as they were planning, God was planning to save me. It was terrible. And like God, God took me out, out of that car somehow. And later put me back on the scene like I was in it. The, the accident was bad. It was very bad, but I didn't really get hurt like that. As compared to what happened and what the devil meant. God saved me from that terrible car accident that was meant to kill me. To kill I'm a dollar right on the spot. Right on the spot. Why? Because I'm too good. As I said earlier, some people hate you just because you're too good. They don't like you just because you're too good. Just because God gonna use you to be a blessing to many others. They said, no, she cannot be. Why would God use her to be blessing? Why would she be blessing to others? We want her to be cursed. We want her to be a curse. We want her to suffer and die. So they had their plans and my father had his plan to save me. And I survived the accident. My daughter and I survived the accident. But before the accident, my, I was thinking about changing my car. I got my car since 2011, 2011 to 2021. It been with me a while now. I was getting bored with, with it. Nothing wrong with it. The car stay in good shape. I was thinking, oh my God, I need a new car. I'm tired with this car. I need a new car. I'm tired with this car. I need a new car. I need a new, new car. Yeah, I need to change my car. I was thinking about it. But how was I going to go about it? I don't know. How the new car going to come? I don't know. So the devil playing his thing, how to end my life with my daughter in that accident. Accident happened. I got to save my injury. But guess what? I got a new car. <laughs> I got a new car. My car was like a 2009 model. I got a 2019 model. Nice one with a lot of features. <laughs> So you see how God turned it around? What did the devil mean for evil? I said, oh, Father, you didn't tell me. <laughs> you are trying to get me a car. <laughs> and 
Is that the way I'm gonna get a new car? Oh my god, I don't think I want it that way, but it's okay. I'm happy. I have a new car. <laughs> and the devil was pissed. I got a new car. My car was told her. And the insurance company replaced my car. Got me a new car. Brand new car, fresh. 2019. My name Roar. So, what the enemy means for evil, meant for a curse. God used it to bless me. I got a new car. That's my testimony. And that's the God we're talking about. The God who saves. The God who heals. The God who restores. The God who comforts. The God who bless. Will you save him with all your heart? With everything inside of you? Trust me, he will always come true for you. The enemy will play. They will do all their planning and God will always pull you out of it. He will always save you. He will always save you. He will always be there for you. He will never let you down. He will never fail you. I was going about my business, doing my thing. I wasn't thinking about it. And I got hit and it was quick. I could have died in it. But it wasn't my time to die. God saved my life. I live. My daughter live. We are doing well. And to the glory of God. We are bouncing around here. I'm just going to use that my story to punish the devil and keep telling people how God is good. Because the more I tell people how God is good, he saved me for a car accident. The devil is mad because he didn't succeed. He was supposed to succeed in his head. He told him I'm going to succeed. He was going to kill me in that accident. My father came true. My father saved me. And I'm here to tell the whole world that God is so good. He fights for his own. He bless his own. He saves his own. He provides for his own. He's a way maker. He's a provider. I will use that my testimony to punish the devil. Because anytime I say they get pissed, that's not what they want to fail. The devil don't like to fail. He always want to win. To the glory of God. I'm alive. My daughter is alive. We are doing well. It happened last year. February 21st, 2020. My Google backup just reminded me. They just showed me the pictures. That's what made me to post them to, to tell the world of the goodness of God. And I want to tell whoever, whosoever that is watching this video, that God is good. If you are living for God, you are trusting God. Keep holding unto him. He will never let you down. He will never fail you. He will always come true for you. And he always come true for his children. With him, it's a showcase that you will be all right. That signal will not kill you. That accident will not kill you. You will not die. You will be okay. You will be all right. You will be good. In the name of Jesus. Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you again for saving us from that car accident. So you be all the glory and all honor in the name of Jesus. And Father, as you saved me from that accident, whoever that is watching me, that need you to save them from a problem, from an accident, wherever it is, I ask that you save them. Pull them out of that problem. Pull them out of that cage. Save them from that accident that is being released against them. Save them from that evil that has been released against them. In the name of Jesus. Father, we love you. I love you. And I say thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Can somebody tell, thank you, Jesus, so I can know who watching? Can somebody comment, thank you, Jesus? Can someone help me tell Jesus, thank you? I say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory, Lord. 
as we all know you. We give you glory, Lord, as we all know you. For you are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. For you are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. Agents of this, oh, as oh, as you are. As oh as you are, you remain the same. Oh, agents of this, as oh as you are, as oh as you are, you remain the same. Now I'm going to read a scripture from you, for you guys. I'm going to be reading from John 3, 16, the most popular voice that everyone knows. Easy, simple, but meaningful. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3 16 is telling us about the love God has for us for you and I because of the love that God has for you and I he sent his son Jesus on the earth to live among us he sent his son Jesus to come and die for our sins to die for me and you God is love God loves us he loves us so much. We his children. And he wants us to understand the love that he has for us. He wants us to believe and he wants us to accept it. He loves us. Can you imagine someone leaving the throne, their kingdom, to come down on this earth, to dine with you, to live with you, live among us, He did that to prove the love that he has for us. If no one has ever told you before, I'm here to tell you that Jesus loves you. He loves you so much. He cares about you. Jesus loves you. God loves us. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. His only son, can you do that? Can you sacrifice your only child for sinful people like us for this earth, this wicked world? Can you sacrifice your only child for that? If you have a kingdom that is full with peace, with angels, with so much kindness and power, so much beauty, will you send your son, your only child, down on the evil, the evil earth? Will you send your son from your kingdom, that kind of beautiful kingdom? You send your son down on this earth. Will you do that to send your son down to die for sinners? No one would do that. Only God can do that. 
just to prove to us that he loves us. Jesus loves us. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me. And he wants you to believe that he loves you. He cares about you. He wants to spend time with you. He wants to get to know you. And he wants you to get to know him. Get to know him. Trust him. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. And whosoever that believe it. Whosoever that believe or believe it in him should not perish. God is telling us once we believe in his son Jesus, Jesus, we will not perish. We won't go to hell. We will not be destroyed. We will be saved. We will spend eternity in heaven in his kingdom. But you have to believe. Believe in me, you have to have faith. Have faith in Jesus. Believe in Jesus. Believe that he loves you. He cares about you. He want to help you. He want to be your friend. He want to be your father. Whosoever believeth in him should not perish. He want you to believe in him, in his son Jesus. Believe in God and believe in his son Jesus. As you believe, you will not perish. You won't go to hell. You will be saved. He wants you to believe him, to trust him. Without your heavy burden, without sick child, with your life, with your decision making. He wants you to believe. Believe that he came on earth for me and you. He came to die so you and I can be saved. He wants you to believe. He wants you to trust him. He wants you to have faith in him. He wants you to have faith in him. Trust him. With your finances, with your children, your marriage, your job, with your life. Whosoever believe in him will not perish. You will not perish when you believe in him with your whole life. You cannot say you trust God, but you don't trust God with your life. You don't trust God with your children. You don't trust God with your marriage, with your finances. You don't trust him with anything, but you say you trust him. Trust in God, believe in God is very important for we the Christians. Believing in God is not about us going to church every day and occupying our seat in the church. So believing in God is not about going to church to occupy the seat. Believing in God, believing in Jesus is trusting him with your life, with everything that you own on this earth. Trusting him enough to know that he can take you out of that situation, that problem. He can comfort you. He can give you money. He can give you a job. Whosoever believe in him should not perish. You will not perish. You will spend eternity in heaven. You will be saved. You won't go to hell. You go to heaven. Once you trust in Jesus, in the Son of God. He is the Son of God that was sent from heaven to come on earth to live among us and die for our sins. Whosoever believe in the Son of God, whosoever believe in Jesus, will not perish. But the Bible is saying, but have everlasting life. How good it is to have everlasting life. How, how awesome it is. How good it is. It feels so good. To have everlasting life. But it starts by you trusting God, believing in God. You gotta believe that God loves you, He cares about you. Believe that He was sent to die for you and I. Believe Him with your life, trust Him with your life so you cannot perish. 
He said, as you, as you believe in his son, Jesus, you will not perish, but you will have everlasting life. Who don't want to have everlasting life? I want to have everlasting life. I want to leave the earth and go to a resting place, a very beautiful, nice place. I can suffer on this earth and go and get burned up in a fire again and go suffer to another place. No, once I suffer here, let me go heavy and rest. So, this is the war for tonight that God is giving us. John 3, 16. And God is telling us that we are loved through Jesus. Jesus loved us. He cared about us. He was sent to die for our sins. He was sent for us, for you and I, to be saved. In the verse, he's encouraging us to believe, to trust, to have faith. He's also telling us and reminding us that when we put our trust in him, we will never be let down. We will not perish. We will have our lasting life. In the name of Jesus. I hope you are blessed. I hope you've been blessed. And if you're watching me, you haven't repented yet, and you think in the minute when your heart stop beating, you don't know where you're gonna go, you're gonna go to hell, you don't know, I would like to lead you to Christ. Repent today. Turn away from your wicked ways. Repent. It's not hard to live for God. Start by baby step. It's just, to me, it's just the way of life. I live for God. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes, but I'm always in your presence, seeking him, believing, trusting. Hallelujah. I'm about to leave you guys. I hope you are blessed. As I said, if you think right now your heart starts beating, you don't know where you're gonna go. Or, or if you have been blessed by watching this video, but if you come across this video and you feel the need to so repent, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to help you say the salvation prayer. I'll lead you to Christ. Repent today. Jesus is coming soon. Repent. Once your heart start beating right now and you don't repent, the war ends for you. It ends. If you don't repent, you're not living for God, you're going about your own ways, and your heart start beating right now, where are you gonna go? What will you spend eternity? The Bible says once we say this prayer, we accept Jesus into our heart as our Lord and personal Savior. Repent of all our sins except Jesus. We are saved. And once we live for him, believe in him, in case anything happens to you, have to start beating, you will go to heaven. I'm a Christian and I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. I believe in the resurrection of Christ. I believe in the end time where everything is shut down and Jesus is coming down from the sky with his trumpet. I believe I'll be risen along with him. I believe in the resurrection of Christ, Jesus. I believe in God and I believe in Jesus and I believe in everything but Jesus Christ. So as you are watching and you glad, or you have been blessed by the message, I'm gonna lead you to God. Say this salvation prayer sincerely and start living for God. There's nothing out there. Everything that you need or want, Jesus have it. Everything that you ever want, you've been wanting, all the questions you need answers for. He has the answers. But you have to repent and spend time with him. Repent. He's your father. How can you have a father that you don't talk to? How will you have a father that you don't talk to? You have no relationship with. You're cheating yourself and you're robbing God robbing your father to of his time with you. 
Repent. Live for God. Jesus loves you. Say this prayer with me. Say, Father, Father, Lord, I come into your presence as a sinner. I confess all my sins. Please forgive me. I didn't know any better. I'm feeling somebody, someone saying this prayer with me. And the person is saying this sincerely from their heart. And they are crying. The person is saying, if, if maybe I can do this, I can do it. If maybe I can be like this, I can be like that. See who talking, look. I'm feeding it here. What are you feeding right now? I'm feeding it. This person is saying the prayer sincerely from their hearts. And they are weeping. And God wants me to tell you he loves you. He loves you. You will have great time together. He is pleased that you are repenting tonight and you deciding to live for him. Thank you, Jesus. Say, Father, Lord, I come into your presence as a sinner. I confess all my sins. Please forgive me. I didn't know any better. I promise not to go back to my old ways. I believe that Jesus Christ came and died for me on the cross of Calvary so that my sins can be wiped away. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. Be the Lord over my life. I promise to save you forever and ever. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Friends and family, wherever you are, I just said a prayer with me. He said it sincerely from your heart. You he meant it. Say to yourself, I am safe. I am safe. You are safe. And whoever will come later to watch the video, I pray that the power that is in this video touch your heart to so repent. In the name of Jesus, you are safe. Heaven is rejoicing that our soul has been won tonight. That, that, that sister is coming home. That brother is coming home. God is happy. Heaven is rejoicing. Found a good Bible believing church. Grow in faith. Get to know your father. Spend time with him. Jesus loves you. Make time for him. Find a good church, a Holy Ghost church that will teach you the right thing. Get your Bible, read your Bible more often. A better still now and then, more than what they improve things. I use my phone most of the time. It's easier. It right on hand. Read about God. If you don't have understanding, ask the Holy Spirit to help you. Ask God to help you to understand what you read. Or you read the uh, NLT version. The NLT version, NLT, is easier to understand. Easy to understand. On your phone, you go to the Bible app. It will ask you to pick the reflection. Which version you want to read in? They have King Jim version. Then they have the NLT. It's easier to understand. You can start from there. That's what I was taught to do. That's what my spiritual mother taught me she from the beginning stage she told me to read from the entity version it's easy you will understand read your bible spend time with god make time for god god has saved me from so many things that were meant to destroy me so many and since the time i surrendered to him totally I have been loving him and spending more time with him. I've gotten enough, enough love, enough of everything. And now he's, he's saying he's going to be leading me on land to be a blessing. And as he lead me, I'll be coming on land to touch whoever that he want to touch. Touch our sister heart, that brother heart that he want to touch, to repent. He'll be bringing me on land so we can fellowship. I 
don't have a specific time to come online. I could come on anytime. I could come online anytime. Anytime that I'm available, I'll come on. So we can fellowship together. Love God together. Praise God together. This is the end time. We have to be closer to God. Jesus loves you. Stay blessed. Remain blessed. I release angels tonight to visit each and every one of you and give you your heart desire according to the word of God for you. May they visit you and bless you. Thanks for watching. I love you all. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.